So here we have solving an equation that can be written in quadratic form, problem type 2. And so the format for solving these equations is um, the quadratic form is making sure that the middle term's exponent doubled gives you the first term's exponent. So in this case, um, it's hard to tell when it's written as a square root, but if you go ahead and rewrite this as an exponent, this would be 7x to the power 1 over the index 2. And then if I double this exponent, I do get 1. 1 half and 1 half is the exponent 1. So this does fit the quadratic form. So then not the coefficient, but just the variable expression is going to be our u. So let u equal x to the 1 half. And then if I squared both sides, I would get u squared equals x to the 1 half squared. Multiply that, I get x to the 1. So then now we're going to substitute. This x to the 1 will be u squared. This x to the 1 half will be u minus 18. I can factor this pretty easily. x plus 9, or u plus 9, and u minus 2. And if I set each of those equal to 0, I get u equal to negative 9, and u equal to positive 2. But then I have to remember to back sub. So u represented x to the 1 half. And further, x to the 1 half was represented by the square root of x. So we've got to go way back to the original problem. Okay. And then um, in order for me to solve square root of x, I actually have to square both sides of the equations. So then x squared the square root of x squared is just x. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. x and 2 times 2 is 4. So my two solutions are 81 and 4. Now over here, if I look at this exponent and I double it, I do get 2 thirds. So then I'm going to say that this variable expression part is going to be the u. So let u equal x to the 1 third. And if I square it, I get x to the 1 third squared. And if I multiply those, I get x to the 2 thirds. So um, what we get here is um, this guy will become u squared. We'll have plus 2u minus 3 equal to 0. And then we can factor this into u plus 3 and u minus 1. And when I set each factor equal to 0, I will get u equal to negative 3 and u equal to positive 1. Seems like my pen is running out of ink. Um, and then we have to back sub. So u was x to the 1 third, and that's equal to negative 3, and x to the 1 third equal to 1. And so then now, what does this mean? This actually means the cube root of x to the 1 power, or just the cube root of x. And then how do we solve a cube root problem? We have to cube both sides. So then here we get x, and here we get negative 27, here we get x, and here we get 1. So we have two solutions, negative 27 and 1. And then finally for our last one, if I take this exponent and double it, I do get the negative 2. So there is a 1 coefficient there, and I'm not using that, I'm just using the expression um, there. So we're going to say let u equal x to the negative 1, and then u squared would be x to the negative 1 squared, and if I multiply those, I get negative 2. So this guy becomes u squared, 
1, this guy becomes u, and then minus 30. I can factor this. It's u minus 6 and u plus 5 equal to 0. So when I set this one equal to 0, I get u equal to positive 6. When I set this factor equal to 0, I get u equal to negative 5. So then I have to back sub. So this was the sub step. And I have to back sub. So u is actually x to the 1 and then x to the negative 1. What does x to the negative 1 mean? It means 1 over x to the positive 1 or just 1 over x. You don't ever have to write the exponent 1. So then I have a, I have a fraction here and in order for me to solve a fraction equation, I have to multiply both sides by the common denominator which is x. And so what happens here is the variables cancel and I get 1 and over here I get 6x. Same in the other equation. I get 1 and then I get negative 5x. And in order to solve for x in these equations you have to divide by the coefficients. So I divide by 6 here, divide by negative 5 here, and I get 1 6 equals x and negative 1 5th equals x. So we get two solutions, one sixth and negative one fifth.